In this video, we will take a, a harder example and do the same process. And we'll look at an alternative form of doing it, a diphthongic way of doing it. So we've got 3x squared minus 4x minus 6. And we want to write it in the form y is equal to a brackets x minus h all squared plus k. Right, take out the 3 as a common factor. Now, when we take out 3 as a common factor here, then we have to put the 4 over 3. There's this thing. If we multiply back in, 3 times 4 over 3 will give me back 4. Then we take half of this number. So to do that, we need to do 4 over 3 times half of it. So the, the 2 and the 4 will cancel there, and we get 2 thirds. So we are now taking half of the number. And we now rewrite this as 3, brackets, x minus 2 over 3 squared minus 6. So when we took half of this number, remember we get this number, and we put it in here. Right, this bit here, we will now expand. So we've got 3 brackets x minus 2 over 3 all squared. So that's 3 x squared minus 2 times minus 2 over 3 times x minus 4 over 3x plus 4 over 9. And then taking the 3 in, we get 3x squared minus 4x plus 4 over 3. When you do this process, this bit here and this bit here should always be the same. So, it's 4 over 3, because when we took the 3 in, 3 will cancel with the 9, we get 4 over 3. So we've added in 4 over 3 here, so we need to take away 4 over 3 here. So this gives me 3 brackets x minus 2 over 3 all squared. Uh, 3 times 6 gives me 18 over 3, minus 4 over 3, which is going to give me 3 brackets, x minus 2 over 3 squared, minus 22 over 3. A brackets, x minus h all squared plus k, so therefore in this case a is 3, h is 2 over 3, and k is minus 22 over 3. Now, there is an alternative way of doing this method of completing the square. So, take the same question, 3x squared minus 4x minus 6 in the form y is equal to a brackets x minus h squared plus k. So, expand. First of all, the, the difference now, we take this and we now expand this. If we expand this, expand the bit in the middle, we get x squared minus 2hx plus h squared plus k. Take the a in, we get ax squared minus 2ahx plus ah squared plus k. Now, if we write down our function, so we're going to spare, compare the coefficients. So a must be equal to 3, minus 4 must be equal to minus 2a, and minus 6 must be equal to ah squared plus k. That's called comparing the coefficients. So, straight away we can say that a is 3. And then we can say that minus 2ah is equal to minus 4. So we'll get rid of the minus signs and put a is 3 in, because we all know that a is 3. So that's going to give 6h is equal to 4. h is two, 4 over 6, which is 2 over 3. Last part, ah squared plus k is equal to minus 6. We know a and h, so we'll substitute them in. So we've got 3 brackets, 2 over 3 squared, plus k is equal to minus 6. So that's 3 times 4 ninths, 2 squared and 3 squared, plus k is equal to minus 6. 3 and the 9 will cancel. And therefore we're going to get k is equal to minus 6, so it's 4 over 3, taking it to the other side, and we end up with this same sum again, minus 18 over 3, take away 4 over 3, which is going to give me minus 22 over 3. Therefore, y will be equal to a brackets x minus h all squared plus k, which is 3 brackets x minus 2 thirds squared minus 22 over 3. The same as before. So this is an alternative method, and it's a valid method as well.